I'm depressed. I haven't gotten out of bed in a month. What I witness makes me question life, question sanity. What's the point? Why do we live in a world with such an atrocity? I'm not referring to world hunger, or war, or the DC Cinematic Universe. I'm referring to an American animated sitcom created by Raymond Lopez and Jesse Hernandez, which aired on Mix TV. This show has only two seasons, one released in 2007 and one released in 2011 for some reason. Is it finally time to get out of bed? To move on? Can I just forget about it? Must I tell you about this disgusting monstrosity? This is what you get. This is what you want. Will that make this me feel better? It's worth a shot. I've seen a lot of bad shit in my life, but I've never seen anything as terrible or as offensive or as bad as redacted redacted it's about two cousins one of them is from san francisco and then one of them is from the philippines and then they're both living with their uncle whose name is tito dick <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst thing i've ever seen it's hard to watch i'm telling you if you made it through the first episode, you deserve the fucking purple heart. The only way to show you how bad it is, is to, well, show you it. I'm just gonna close these real quick. I don't want to run the risk of anyone seeing me watching the show. I'd rather be caught jerking off. Redacted. 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 You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm tapping out. I think I'm done. Moça do corpo dourado do sol de panem. Almost every lyric in the song is. It's redacted. Hey. Redacted. It's the redacted. This theme is so bad, it's kind of become a meme. There's a version where every time they say redacted in the theme, it's replaced by the entire script of the B movie. It's pretty funny. Even the lyrics that aren't redacted, redacted are awful and don't make any sense. Phil's from the stone, Jack's from the pier. Horatio or Horat Sobier. Tito Dick Dickman, baby. He hates Phil and loves the ladies. Jack's cool ass lazy, he's still learning. Number one cherry pie, still a virgin. Cheetah, meet the freak of the weeka. Redacted. First episode's about Jack coming to the United States, and then Phil shows him around the city. So this is supposed to be like an introduction to all the characters and the tone and the comedic style of the show. But right? you are not much for my Viagra power dong snatcher. Hey. Take that here. Son of a shit, I hate that crap. <laughs> Enjoy that, old man. The next time I see you, your wrinkly nuts will be going down. Is this real? The animation, writing, and acting are so fucking bad, it's hard to even understand what's happening most of the time. Hi, Bill. Nice to meeting you. Nah, 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 Jack. It's like this, man. This is how we do it in the States, homeboy. Seriously, some of the punchlines don't even make sense to me. Look at me, dammit! Uh, um... Uh... That's right, boy! Look at me! Hey, 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 I'm trying, man! Was that supposed to be like a cross-eyed joke? Cause like, everyone in the show is like cross-eyed. Just look at the backgrounds. Everyone's hands are twice the size of their head. All the voice acting is so obnoxious. The proportions on everyone are so off. <laughs> come on, Tish, come on! Your game, your game. You got no game, boy. All you got is that game you play by yourself in a you. Like, what was that? What did that mean? What does that have to do with anything? I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm moving to the States with Tito Dick and Cows and Peel. 
I hope he gets along. I hope no one is offended by my voice. Oh, oh, it's just noise. The show transitions to another scene, and then this is when, like, the, the, the thousandth problem with this show starts to become apparent. Let's take a second to look at it. What a normal show would do is have a punchline, right? Like a funny joke. And then they'd cut to where the next scene takes place. It's called an establishing shot. Most films have them. Not all of them, but most films have them. And it basically shows where this next scene is taking place. What this show does instead, for some reason, is zoom in on um, Dick's eye for some reason. And then it zooms out of a guy playing a record. And then it zooms out of a out of a different shot of a guy playing a record. Except this one is like, has yellow, has like some yellow shape overlapping the image. Is that supposed to be a spotlight on him? And then we cut back to that same shot. And this time we're zooming in, and then we cut to a shot of the airplane's tire. And then we zoom in on that, and it lights up. And then we cut to this shot of a woman, and then it zooms out and we're in a plane. Um, everything's going to be fine. That was fucking awful. No one in the plane is moving. This girl like moves her arm for a second. Why is Jesus there? Is that supposed to be funny? I've also never seen a plane this empty. This cartoon character is looking straight at the camera. Is it supposed to be that this girl is mad that this guy is snoring? And then this kid's like, oh God, looking straight at the camera like, oh man, this guy's pretty loud, wouldn't you say? It's, it's not funny. Take a look at this transition. Come on, man, let's check it out. That doesn't make any fucking sense. That's something a 10 year old would do when he edits his vacation video in iMovie. But even though this is a show on television, they still use those stock transitions, except they can't even do that right. What they do is they zoom out of this and then like scroll over to a different image, but then they just cut to the next scene. They didn't even do it right. Go out of that image and then go into another image and zoom in. You don't just cut. What the fuck's the point of doing a transition if you just cut? I like all the stock swoosh sounds they used. The only thing they need now is that stock sound of a record stopping. Oh, of course they included that. Of course they did. See, now what the fuck is this thing? What is that? I, I really hope whoever created this show is dead. I'm, I'm kidding though. I'm, I'm joking. I'm kidding. That Hawaiian man only had the other passenger's best interest in mind. Oh, this guy's Hawaiian. I'm sorry, I should have known. All Hawaiians wear bathing suits and have hair like that and have tattoos. The animation's been pretty terrible so far, but I wonder how the driving looks. Hey man, you okay? Is that seat messed up? What? Does he feel? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my butt hurts only from sitting on the plane too long. There was this thing in Metal Gear Solid um, 4, and it had this little health warning. After you play for about an hour, um, shut off the game for about 15 minutes and just, you know, relax to avoid seizures and stuff like that. I'm going to suggest at this point that you take a three hour break and then come back to this um, for your own well-being. If you come back to this review three hours from now and you start to feel sick after about a minute, that's normal. Take a look at this great editing. Don't get jog into your shit, okay? Whatever. Damn, Teach, why you gotta hate on me? Oh my god. Heidi ho! <laughs> What's going on? Anything cooking? Oh my god. This is the most annoying character in the show, and that says a lot when the other dude speaks like this. She's a sexy, smart, and funny lady. Every time he shows up, literally every single time he shows up, even in season two, they play the same exact 
banjo shit in the background. D-W-A-Y-N-E! The show, to me, is trying to be like South Park, be offensive and edgy. Except South Park is created by two geniuses who actually have a point and know how to tell a story. It's not just crude humor for the sake of being offensive. Every episode, whether you agree with it or not, is making some sort of statement about society, culture, celebrities, etc. What statement is this show making? Bacon Bartha! Oh, That's some stinky ass God. porno man! Stay away from him! Dang! What they doing? Have a nice day. Shut the hell up! They can't even do footstep sound effects right. It didn't even match his feet. By the way, we're not even through the first episode. I'm, I'm just gonna skip to the end of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so usually at the end of an episode, you try to go out with a big, you know, punchline. Leave everyone laughing. Let's see what joke... Oh, oh my god, that transition. But uh, let, Let's see what joke we end on. I got his back, and now I got a partner in crime. Right? Okay, cool, man, so I'll catch up to you later. Stay up, brother. Well, so I decided to watch a few more episodes of this show to see if it gets any better. Now, I don't know if it's just my brain getting used to the awful animation, but the animation looks a little bit better as the show goes on, I think, maybe. Oh, wait. You know what, I take it back. I was curious who made this show, so I looked it up. And apparently this this mixed TV has a YouTube channel and on that YouTube channel they have an exclusive featurette oh man that uh, feels really good everyone looks really uncomfortable with what they made we started off kind of slow it's tough for me to watch the early parts of the season I'm actually glad the first season is over with except this guy first season was freaking fantastic bro it was off the chains man monumental um, as, as Nub would say, Brontosaurus. You can see their original vision in the animatics. Those look pretty cool. I mean, the jokes still suck, but the animation looks okay in this. And then you watch the real thing and it's like, Bill, I'm not going down that. That's a black diamond. Apparently this was made by a really small crew. We have a pretty small crew working on it, so uh, uh, it's good to finally be done with it. And for some reason, Mix TV renewed the show for a second season, and since it was such a small crew, it didn't come out till 2011. Let's go back in time, shall we? Well, the animation's a little bit better. Maybe it's just me going crazy again. It's still not good, but it looks better. But the jokes have actually gotten worse. Oh! Oh, the, oh. Oh, the bang gun! Oh, bang gun! Hurry time! They're not making a statement about anything. They're not being funny. They're not being edgy. It's just racist. Oh God, Mati stop. What the hell's up with you, gangster? That ain't no chick, dude. Pie. That's cherry pie. Bill, 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 she's coming over here. And boys. These aren't my real breastuses. Oh God, No. Three, two, one. Mama, no. Let me see your bull bull. Oh. <laughs> She was a nasty little curry eater. Next thing you tell me is you're not a woman. <laughs> I really hope there isn't a third season. If there was, it would be out by now, because it's been about five years. But before we say goodbye, redacted forever. Let's take a look at the final episode. I wanted to see if they ended on a positive note. Hey man, speak easy. The last episode is just fighting and noise, more racism. More homophobia. Oh, harder, daddy, harder. More misogyny, just more everything. Parkinson's disease, you sausage stuffing bunghole. The show manages to offend everyone and make no one laugh, except for this guy. As Nub would say, Brontosaurus. Charles Stiles, I owe you an apology. Your show, while incredibly stupid, is not offensive, it's not racist. And if you're watching it with friends, drunk, it's funny. But how about you, Sydney? Does Nate look familiar to you? He wanted cheese, and you wouldn't sell it to him. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> first of all. This show oh! 
is annoying, stupid, offensive dog shit. Not too many regrets. There's a couple things that we might not have wanted to do, but hey, we did it, man. Whatever. It's all good. As Nub will say, Brontosaurus. It's the Nut Shack.